Hey guys, it's Adam from Blue Line. We get asked a ton, ton of comments on uh, on Instagram, uh, YouTube, whatever. What raft do we use? So, figured we'd just make a whole video answering that question. So today, I'm kind of going to run through my raft, run through the features, why we like it, and uh, why it works for us. So this is a Blackfoot Strike, and this is the 13 and a half foot, the uh, middle of their size range. Uh, they sell a 12 and a half, 13 and a half, and a 14 and a half. I like the 13 and a half. Uh, I bought this when I was guiding a lot. So it makes it where uh, the boat's a little bit lighter. You've seen us do a lot of uh, boat slides, things like that. Uh, of course, the 13 and a half is a little bit uh, lighter weight than that 14 and a half, but it definitely gives the, the person in the back a lot more room than the 12 and a half. Um, and then the frame, so that's the, the rubber part. The frame part is a Montana raft frame uh, from Missoula. Uh, you can find their websites linked below. The uh, Montana Raft Frame make, uh, makes these custom frames for these boats. So I had, uh, I had these guys uh, put in a couple custom pieces for me, but it's hands down, it's the best frame that I've ever seen. Uh, the frame really makes the boat as far as you know, fishing out of it and the livability in the boat. Um, and it was super helpful for me when I was guiding to be able to have the frame, the exact kind of frame with the right kind of storage that I really liked. So, uh, huge shout out to those guys. But uh, we get asked tons of questions what what we use. Um, there's a lot of companies that produce rafts. There's a lot of companies that produce frames. You can really fit just about any frame to any raft. Just totally depends upon uh, what you're looking for. Just kind of front to back, I wanted to run through some of the features of this boat and why we like it. So starting up here at the front, the the way the Sotar uh, Strike is laid out, it has a really wide front for the for the uh, fishermen up here. And they also sell these really nice hard floors. So really like this. They are heavy, so if you're doing a boat slide, you may be able to take it off. Of course, the good news is it's only four bolts to remove it. But really nice if you're gonna be up here, you know that we do a lot of streamer fishing. I like to stand when I fish. Um, I don't real. I've never found a, a raft that I really love the floor on for standing all day, you know, day in and day out. I really like the hard floor on these. It, it does have an inflatable self bailing floor, so when water gets in, it just runs right out the bottom of the boat. So uh, we also have this thigh bar, uh, which is nice if you're, of course, going over rapids or you're going to hit an unexpected rock. Kind of helps keep the person up front in the boat. So I ordered what's called a, they call it a cooler bar for my frame. So we have a spare bar right here that helps hold the cooler in between where your foot rest goes and the front seat. So you can fit any, any type of cooler. I like the Yetis uh, because they have a, a little lip that actually fits right in there. Really nice, easily accessible, easy to open. Um, you grab your lunch and things, but also makes a really nice uh, just work surface. Uh, if you're gonna cut, cut off some flies, you stick some flies in the foam pad, Really like having that kind of grippy foam pad on the Yeti. Nice to be able to sit a couple things on there as well. Another huge feature of this boat uh, that I love about the Montana Raft frames is the rod dog. So this rod holder will fit on any raft. Uh, just fits with the same standard U-bolts. But this guy has saved me many a broken rods. Uh, keeps two rods in there. We normally carry anywhere between four to four, maybe six rods with us when we're on the river, but it's really nice to be able to put two of them in there uh, that you can kind of keep cycling in and out. But it's open along the side, which also gives you a nice work surface as well. Um, you can kind of sit a couple things in it. Obviously it's shaped kind of like a cup, so, it, so it'll uh, help hold some things. But at the very front here, that's all covered for your rod tips which is really great if you're running through a lot of brush. We go through a lot of really tight spots when we're fishing back in the southeast for uh, really overgrown areas. So it really helps uh, from getting those rods hung up in a tree limb or something when you're passing through it on the river. So one thing you never have enough of is cup holders. Really like these boats. I've got three cup holders, of course one for each person, but uh, I've got a cup holder up front, one for whoever's fishing in the back. But I really love this, it's called the Guide Caddy. Uh, again, you can purchase these from Montana Raft Frames. Even if you don't have a Montana Raft Frame, this fits on there. They all use those standard U-bolts. So uh, it's got a cup holder, it's got a foam patch for sticking flies and things. And then it's got a little tray here. I, I always have some tippets sitting in there or hemo, something like that. Uh, really love that thing. Um, highly recommend it. 
and then working back the because like I said the 13 and a half foot is just a little bit bigger for whoever's fishing out of the rear we have really quite a bit of room back here we've got a thigh bar for whoever's fishing out of the back nice to be able to you and if you don't have anyone in the back it's nice to be able to hang some stuff off of this seat is easily removable, so you can just pop that seat out and have a lot of storage back here if you're doing one of those overnight floats, uh, we, which we do every once in a while. Be able to fit the grill, all your sleeping gear, your dry bags, everything in the back. So this extra bar right here, I like to, is a great place to store some stuff. Small dry bags are awesome to just connect to it. Uh, this is a dry bag that I built. When you order a boat like this, normally it comes with kind of a spare parts kit some supplies if you ever need to patch your boat or if you ever have to uh, do any uh, work on the boat while you're on the water. So I kind of built a little more uh, stuff in there. I've got a small medical kit. Um, I've got some extra pieces for my oars just in case I uh, ever break or bend something there. And I've also got some places to, uh, some things to replace my valves just in case my valves ever go down on my boat. So uh, having a spare sparks kit in the boat is always a great idea. All of these boats tend to use a half inch ratchet uh, set, so I have a half inch ratchet that I just leave in there all the time. But I like having a spare dry bag just that, I, you know, I never open that up unless I have to get, you know, in there, just so that I always know it's always in the boat uh, anytime I'm gonna use it. But keeping a spare, I've got a couple spare ones kind of like that that I can clip to the frame right here that's great for phones, wallet, keys, things like that. So one of the huge pros of fishing out of a raft over uh, a canoe or a kayak is I have a real anchor system just like a drift boat would have in this boat. So uh, I've got a, quite a few pulleys, but I've got my rope here, easily accessible uh, to lock and unlock my rope. Uh, the pulleys obviously really help make your anchor feel a little bit lighter. And if you come back this way, that rope runs through the frame. So it makes it so my flies aren't getting hung up in it, which is just awful. I have broken a rod off of a, a different style boat where the anchor rope was just kind of running along the, the boat. So we've got this extra pulley back here. So we've got a pulley that connects to your anchor. So your anchor is gonna sit here. We also have this pulley that helps just keep all this in line. So that pulley really helps create that extra leverage. So if you are, instead of coming direct, connected to an anchor, uh, having that extra pulley system really gives you that leverage. If you're utilizing your anchor a lot, uh, having that extra pulley system really helps in you know dropping and pulling your anchor a lot throughout the day. Thanks so much for the questions. We really appreciate it. If you got, if I didn't cover anything that you want to know about this boat or what we kind of like, the reason we bought it, anything like that, please just leave us a comment. We'll try to get back with those as much as we can. Uh, really appreciate you guys for following along. We'll see you in the next video.